Today we're going to be talking about the top five mistakes people make when doing Amazon FBA. So Amazon FBA is a great business and it can seem pretty easy. You buy your products, you package them up, you send them into Amazon's warehouse, Amazon then store them, sell them, dispatch them and basically take care of everything for you. And in many ways, it is that easy. However, there's many things which people do which minimize their chance of being successful when selling on Amazon FBA. So today I'll be breaking down these five mistakes, so let's get right into it. So mistake number one is rushing into starting. So Amazon FBA is a complex business model. There is a lot to learn. And we can't stress how important it is to learn the basics of Amazon FBA before you jump in too deep. The sort of things you need to learn firstly is finding your FBA deal. So where do you look? What are you gonna look for? Next up is how do you actually analyze them? And this is one of the big mistakes people make is not analyzing their FBA deals correctly. Just because a product is cheap on one website and it's selling for more on Amazon, say a product is selling for 10 pound on Argos, but it's 25 pound on Amazon, that isn't enough alone to say it's gonna be a good FBA deal. The things we need to check is firstly, is it selling? Are we gated? Is there an IP risk? Are we gonna get intellectual property violation? And most importantly is looking at the price graphs. And this is something which so many people will skip over. The price graphs are gonna be your best friend when it comes to Amazon FBA. They provide so much information which you can't see on the surface, such as whether Amazon had previously been on the listing, if the price has been way cheaper over last year, and the list goes on. So this is why we say don't rush when you're getting started. It just start off with a few products, then go mad and hand you buy. And we know it can be very exciting. You think you found a product and you want to go all in, but this is where mistakes are made, and this is where people start to lose money. So mistake number two is getting into pricing wars. The key to being successful on Amazon FBA is winning the buy box. So if you don't know what the buy box is, it is the add to basket buy it now button you see when you are on a product page. Only one seller gets this buy box as they call it and whoever has it gets all of the sales. And this is why there is such fierce competition to get this buy box. Amazon decides who wins the buy box usually by who is the cheapest seller. And what this means is that it can be a bit of a race to the bottom people just keep lowering and lowering their price. And this is such a big mistake. You never want to be undercutting the buy box because all you're gonna be doing is eating into your profit margins. The best method to be successful on Amazon FBA is by matching the buy box, so just matching the buy box price. So the way the buy box works is that Amazon share the buy box out between sellers. So if two similar level FBA sellers are both selling the product for 10 pounds, so one seller might have it for a set amount of time, and then it will switch over to the other seller. And what this means is both sellers get a share of the buy box and a share of the sales. Now, if you start undercutting them, the chances are the other seller is gonna start undercutting you, then you're gonna undercut them, then they're gonna undercut you, and it is just a vicious cycle until you reach your absolute bottom profit, which is why you just do not want to be doing this. And if you can see other sellers doing this, because unfortunately, it is always gonna happen. There's nothing you can do about it because people don't understand it. Just sit back and wait and don't get involved. Wait for them to sell out. As long as you analyze it properly, you will get your turn with the buy box. So mistake number three is being scared of making mistakes. You are going to make mistakes when you start a business, especially Amazon FBA. However, it is so important not to be scared of doing this. Mistakes are one of the best ways to learn and really such an important part of any business, Amazon FBA or any other type of business out there. Now, don't get me wrong, ideally you don't want to be making mistakes because usually it's gonna be costing you money. However, being scared of making them can seriously limit your business because it might prevent you from doing things which you believe is the right path for your business and it holds back your growth, holds back your profitability and so on. So my best advice is if you do make a mistake, don't beat yourself up over it, just analyze what happened and make sure not to do it again. Okay, mistake number four is giving up. So sadly here at Profitable, we do see this all too often of people giving up on their Amazon FBA business, which we think is just such a shame. A big part of this is giving it time, and that goes with any business. 
it is not a get rich quick scheme and it's never going to be an overnight success. However, if you keep working on it and you keep investing in what you're doing, you will start to see success. It does just take time to get there. And one of the most important things about Amazon FBA is the power of compounding. So what most people do when they're doing Amazon FBA is they'll start small and they'll just keep reinvesting their products in new stock. They won't be taking any profits out of the business. You want to keep investing in stock, investing in the number of products you're sending in, the number of lines, the quantity of each product you're sending in. And what that means is in time you can have a really large amount of stock and actually quite a valuable business. But if you only give it say 30 days, you are never gonna see success. It, it does definitely take longer to get there. And our final big mistake people make is not being part of a community. So as I mentioned earlier, Amazon FBA is complex and being part of a community with other sellers can be an absolute game changer. It means you can ask questions which you might not be able to find out online. It means you can get advice on the best way to do things. And it means you can avoid many mistakes which you might fall into. But more than anything, I would say it's the ability to keep motivated. Being with a group of like-minded people all on their same journey really does motivate and it really does help you to push on because sadly it's not always going to be good times with Amazon FBA but there are going to be times when you do feel like giving in you know you might have a product which doesn't do as well as you hope or you might have a week of slower sales but having that community there is such an important thing here at Profitable we do have our discord community where we have over 2,700 people and it is one of our big USPs and why people love being a part of what we do so we hope you found that video helpful if you want to learn about more mistakes let us know in the comments and we'll look to do a part two because we can promise you there are many more mistakes out there which people do make and if you were interested in joining Profitable, you'll see an exclusive YouTube discount code pop up just here. You can also find it in our descriptions alongside all of our links about what it is we actually do. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.